livery cab crashes into a sidewalk full of people, but a mother's quick action may have saved her daughter's life. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco live at the scene in the Ford and Manor section of the Bronx. Tracy. Maurice, that livery cab witnesses say came flying down Valentine Avenue here, jumped over the curb and ended up right here where those four children and mother were standing. Now tonight, two of those children, a brother and sister, are still hospitalized along with their mother, who relatives say is undergoing surgery. But we spoke with another young victim who managed to get out of the way. She tells us about this scary morning. You're going to be okay though, right? Yes. Seven-year-old Isa Hedada shows us the cuts on her knee, thigh, and lip, all minor in comparison to what could have been. Her mother, Penda Otarda, grateful they are alive. I never see accident like that. I'm just scared. The two were waiting for the school bus here at Valentine Avenue when an out-of-control speeding livery cab jumped the curb and plowed into Isa and three other children, ages 5, 8, and 11, and one of their mothers. Otarda says she tried to pull her daughter out of the way. Just I'm see the car come. I say, no, 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 that guy is no good. This cell phone video shows people heroically trying to lift the black Toyota Camry off the 33-year-old mother and one of the children pinned underneath before rescue squads arrived. I saw the ambulance and the, um, the kids under the, um, the car. Witnesses out here also haunted by the disturbing scene. We knew something was terribly wrong then when we saw the bodies everywhere. Police are still trying to figure out if the crash was the driver's fault or if the car malfunctioned. It sounded like the gas pedal was stuck. That's what it sounded to me. Because when we ran towards the car and we got to the car, the car was still um, accelerated. Now, the driver of that livery cab has not been charged with anything. Police are still investigating to see if that car he was driving was malfunctioning. We're live tonight from the Fordham Manon section of the Bronx. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. Tracy, thank you.